Hi, good morning. Uh, today we're gonna uh, show you uh, another major scale. Last time we we showed the G major scale, and today we we change. Okay, we change to another scale, F major scale. So as you can see, uh, my lecture note, the PDF file here. Uh, here's uh, the the piano keyboard and. Can you visualize which note is G? Okay, if you have the problem, uh, trouble uh, knowing the keyboard, uh, uh, identify the keyboard location, uh, I go back to, to, to look at my, my video about the keyboard map, keyboard geography. Okay. So we know this is a C, right? Okay, I do this uh, particularly for uh, you don't have any black key or white key. Uh, but now we know this is a black key, this is black key, white key, right? So this is a C, B, A, A, B, C, right? C, B, C, B, A. And G, right? This is our F, okay. So, uh, if you have the piano, any kind of piano, uh, you can uh, play on the piano, digital piano, or or electronic piano. And today, I would like to show you. Uh, if you don't have any piano, you may can uh, you can use a, a web tool or software uh, that you can. Uh, learn how to identify it and then uh, hear the sound from it. Okay, let's uh, let's begin. Okay, let me see. Okay, here is my piano, right? So Okay, so you can see I already aligned my lecture uh, with the piano. Okay, so if you play, this is a fa. And why do we want to know the different uh, scale? Okay, with different scale, uh, we can play the music in the different key, right? Last time we learned. What scale? Hmm. Let's start with the G. Hmm. Do, Re, Mi, Fa, So, La, Ti, Do. A little bit weird. Do, Re, Mi, Fa, So, La, Ti, 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 Do. Oh, I forgot to to raise uh, to raise my F. Uh, become the sharpen F, right? Okay, maybe you want to have a look. Yeah, this is my F sharp, right? So in the key of G, yeah, that sounds sounds uh, correct. And in C, okay, and we know that if we look at the uh, major scale uh, in C. And the number it one two three four. Three and four, no any black key, right? So we call it a half step. Another part is a seven, and the higher one uh, is also the half step. So you can you can see the major scale pattern. Uh, ho ho ha ho 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 ha. Okay. So this is a very important uh, interval relationship. If you uh, if you can uh, use this formula or internalize this idea, uh, you can construct any scale uh, in any key. So today we're gonna uh, apply it to another key, right? We want to do the G. 
So let's begin. Okay. So now I use uh, my tool, my pen tool. Pen here. Where is my one? Where is my F? Okay, this is my F, right? So this is my one, right? I would like to uh, change the color. Maybe I use a blue color. Okay, use a blue color. So now this is my one, right? Can you visualize where is my two? Yeah, next is two, right? But mm, let's try how do I can I visualize it's active? Yeah, this is my active higher, right? The same location, right? Maybe you play it. Right? And we still have a silver note. Uh, where's my five? A perfect fifth uh, relative to uh, to the one. Hmm. Perfect fifths uh, sounds perfect. They have a uh, sounds in harmony uh, when you play it. Okay, and the distance is uh, sev seven semitone. So you may want to know this: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Of course, this is uh, uh, too much detail uh, here. Uh, when you are familiar with the uh, a key piano key, you will you will soon know that the uh, the pair of the perfect fifths. Okay, so now we have the five here. Okay, five here. Okay. Now we still need to uh, fill out the next uh, the next uh, uh, note. So where's my next? I I would like to try three, three. Okay, ho ho half, ho ho. So this is my three. Okay. And we know that the three only half step above is four. So this is my four. Okay, can you visualize now we are encountering the uh, black key? Okay. Hmm. So we still have a two, six, a seven. Let's try easier one. Seven should be high, semitone below the uh, the upper tonic, upper uh, one, right? So remember, uh, now the rest is easy. So here's a two, here's a six, right? So let's say, let's check. Ho, ho, half, ho. Right? This is a whole tone, even though the space looks uh, bigger uh, than the normal uh, whole tone. But if you count it, this is a half step, a half step. Okay, two semitone. So this is a whole tone. Ho. Okay, let, let's try again. Ho, ho, half. Ho, ho. Ho, half. Yeah, I got it right. So this must be six. And this is two. Right? Okay, so uh, of course I'm doing this on the paper. If you uh, already have the piano with you, uh, you you visualize it looking at the piano, uh, which is uh, down below, down below here. Okay, below, and you you see a uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You play around it. It just sounds like uh, you are do re mi fa so la ti do. Uh, this we call now. This is our do. We call this the movable do. Okay. Do 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 re mi fa so la ti do. One two three four five six seven eight. Okay, and that's it. So this is a one way, but how do we give a name for each uh, each of a note? Okay, and we know that uh, this is a fa f, right? F, and this is another f, f g, yeah, 
A. And this node can either call it uh, either called uh, B flat or A sharp, but obviously, obviously we already have the A, right? So this should be B flat. Every data uh, deserves a place, deserves a name, right? B flat, right? So C, D, E. Okay, so now we we know uh, in F major scale we have one flat that is a flat B, right? And we also know that this flat uh, is in the fourth degree of the scale, okay? Because that's a fourth degree, right? Yeah, that's a that's a about the F major scale, okay? Um, if you don't have any any uh, digital piano, uh, now I'm gonna show you uh, how to use a uh, web, okay? So now I want to, I, I would like to erase all of this. Uh, okay, let me show you a website, uh, a website. Uh, call a music theory dot okay let me type it music theory dot net okay and you type it and there's a lot of interesting uh, theoretical stuff music theory stuff and but now uh, we focus on the tool okay I want you to find a papa piano okay here yeah you can see a very neat uh, very good looking uh, virtual piano okay uh, what's uh, interesting uh, in this feature is that they, they can play it okay uh, because it's a web base that you cannot play on a, uh, you can just simply click click it uh, can you hear the sound right click it and you can mark it Okay, if you want to identify some interesting chord, you can clear it. So uh, uh, now we want to we want to build our uh, F major F major scale. Okay, uh, if you you can test it yourself. Okay, can you visualize? Where's my one? Okay, this is one, two, three, four. Right. So you can you can click all the all the note on the scale and then go back to one okay so this is a fantastic tool uh, to help you okay I use this a lot in my in my in my teaching uh, sometimes I don't have access to uh, digital piano so this is a one of way uh, I do in the teaching also encourage the student uh, to uh, review it. Uh, so that's it. Uh, so remember one, identify one, yeah, five, right? Yeah. Uh, you don't need to follow the order of the number. Uh, I build if you. So I know the six is uh, is half is a uh, whole tone above the five. Okay, you can do this, right? And the four is whole tone below the five third and the four is the uh, semitone two seven and then eight or one and you can play it you can play it uh, play it uh, you can play it switch to play okay then you can play it you should be able to hear the sound which sounds like a do re mi or solatito. Okay. Again, the do here. I sing my first degree as a do, and this method is called a movable do re mi. Okay. And that's it. I hope that you go home. You can practice a little bit. Uh, be a master of the 
major scale in any key. Okay, next next time we talk about another major scale. Okay, good job. Bye bye. See you.